Oh, Toad in, in Mario Kart 64 really went. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Sketch today and only today. We are here to talk about some Sonic Frontiers copium chat. That's right, everybody. I'm here today to talk. I'm, I'm coping. Okay, I'm, I'm it's over. We we've it's this is bad, guys. We've officially reached I want to cope, and I'm gonna start expecting something every month. It's gonna be a whole thing situation because we are near, you know, we're nearing movie time. It is officially one month away. So shout out to happy, happy one month till Sonic movie anniversary. I guess, but yeah, no, we're, we're so close to the movie, and the rumors are beginning to spiral. Yeah, you know I mean, there's rumors of, you know, a, a Sonic Central happening on the 18th. There's rumors of, you know, Sonic Origins having to do to come out before the Sonic movie because they said that it would before. There's, there's a lot of rumors going on. And I thought it'd be fun if we read some fake leaks, you know, some copium to live with. I mean, maybe it's not a fake leak. We don't know. But we're going to we're going to read up about it. But of course, make sure to like the video, subscribe, all that jazz. I mean, let's let's talk. Hang out. Have a good time. Everybody, everybody hang out with me. OK, just, just sit down. All right. Just sit, I know you're sitting down or you're standing or you're doing something. Just watch the video and chill out with me. OK, so let's dig in where my copium began. Right. So like I said, in general, there have been people talking about how, you know, March is usually known for Sonic news. I made a video about this saying how like we could be getting news on Sonic stuff in general. But it seems like there might be stuff building up on for this. So so let's 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 entertain the idea for a second. All right, let's go over here. Let's go. Let's go. Wish 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 to the other thing here. So uh basically the future game show is going to happen. Now, if you, you guys have not uh been seeing one of these, they're basically an event held by Games Radar. They've had companies like Sega and you know and Xbox and all these companies, uh, and they showed last time a level from sonic colors ultimate so they're not they're not i don't want to say like they're it's like it's not unprecedented for that show to have sonic game news now i do think it's a little unlikely because so this event takes place march 24th um but i feel like it's a little unlikely because i think sonic's at that point now where like again sonic isn't like okay sonic's really big but he's not like Oh my god, destroy the world big, you know what I mean? But like, so, I feel like he is a tier above, like, having the gameplay debut be at a future game show. And I feel like the only way it would be there is if the Sonic Twitter was like, Hey, stay tuned to the future game show to check out the first gameplay glimpse of uh, Sonic Frontiers. If anything, what I could think is maybe um, we get some sort of gameplay trailer at an event before and then they re-show it here and maybe have like five seconds of extra footage or something but let's entertain the fake leak as like so we have two of these fake leaks they're actually the same leak but they're put on different days so there's two options this is either spot on dead ass or one just rewrote what the other person said and just bs of it again we're gonna read this for fun to entertain the idea that this trailer is coming. So let's go ahead and read this, this fake leak. All right, so Sonic Frontiers will be showing off gameplay at future game show on March 24th, 2020. Here's what to look forward to. So let's go through this. So start to the CGI animation of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and Amy chasing Eggman in a grass field, stealing the Master Emerald and activating the ancient technology of the Titans. Interesting, okay, so according to this master emerald that is involved and you got the gang the in-game cutscene of sonic waking up with amnesia and a voice waking him up so i'm guessing you know this is how the, the game story starts something bad happens and then sonic just I, i'm not saying he, he like he yeah why was i gonna say he dies bro that's so extreme i just meant like something happens to him he wakes up he forgets to have his shit so next up gameplay shows sonic standing on the same hill from the game awards sonic has a new model that looks like the CGI model, and his animations are similar from Unleashed Generations, but more fluent and expressive. Sonic runs to the tower, showcases the movement and parkour and combat with Sonic fighting egg ponds and various badniks. So, okay, okay, I, I can see it's all right. We'll read through him and then we'll go through one by one. You know what I mean? We see new areas of the first zone showing an endless grassy field with little woodland creatures and scattered rings in an ancient city populated by various chow race species like elementals, mysticals, naturals, and so on. That's fucking cool. Sonic sees a chow in danger from nightmare looking ancient purple robots and fights them in a couple of QTEs and with a spin cycle. I'm down with this. This is again, the spin cycle is something we've heard about a lot in different leaks. 
it's that move we saw in the first show, you know, where he spins around that area with his purple aura. Uh, so that could be a whole thing. So uh, then uh, Titan shows up. Uh, Titan shows up. Wait, wait, hold up. Titan shows up Sonic Fleas, and we cut to cyberspace stage showing a farm-like area, and we see some gameplay that is similar to boost levels of Sonic Unleashed Generations. It cuts to more open-world uh, zones, a desert with a Mideastern-inspired city in the horizon, an icy mountain with a tiny festive town, a jungle with a temple, and a giant city similar to Station Square but mixed with City Escape and Speed Highway populated with humans and Mobians, animals, and people. Uh, cuts to Sonic transforming to a new form that has the glitchy purple aura eyes and destroys the Titan and frees Tails from cyberspace. We get to see Tails gameplay shown off his moveset and combat tail swing, rig bombs, and laser gun weapons. Cuts to the title showing the release date November 15, 2022 and surprises you with Amy and Knuckles calling you for help in cyberspace. Okay, so a lot to unpack here. Um, again, like I said, we're entertaining this idea. This could be completely fake. But let's talk about this because what's funny is someone pointed this out to me where uh, Copium, but they said the same thing. So this leak was like, you know, a few weeks before it and it has the same idea. So starts with Sonic waking up, Ghost Girl speaks, new Sonic model that's similar. Sonic standing off click, Bad Nicks attacking rock, Sonic jumps off cliff, combat style, AI girl guides Sonic to the tower, Sonic climbs tower, Sonic makes a rock Korok, Sonic fighting egg ponds and buzz bombers, exploring cyberspace level Sonic runs to the titan side turns to instinct sonic which i is instinct listen i, I don't know bro boss fight tails gets three tails gameplay trailer ends with sega i look so these aren't completely the same it's very clear that you know like one trailer has more detailed info like it's like one trailer saying there's gonna be a city and all this stuff this one is more you know general and it's two things, right? That they're either going to drop this trailer. Like I said, these could be variations of the same trailer. Maybe what I'm guessing is possible is what I said, right? Where on the 18th, maybe there's some kind of Sonic Central where they have this stuff. And then at the, what's it called? At the future game show, they have an extended version of that trailer. So, but let's unpack it for a second because there's a lot to go over you, right? So, first of all, Sonic Tales, Knuckles, AB, that's cool. If the cast is that for the game... I'm happy. Keep it to the central group. I'd be totally okay with that. If there's more, I'll take it. I feel like there is more if they're doing the cyberspace levels. So, uh, gameplay shown is standing in front of the Rocket TJ with the new model. Now, this is something, you know, people were yelling about online, you know, that he's using the forces model. I think this is a bit of like, this is where the Hopium Copium begins. Of like, why would they two months prior or three months prior or whatever to whatever this gameplay is being shown here have a completely different model unless they were bsing us in the sense of like they were showing us an old build of the game and we're gonna see some really updated build that has crazy stuff because again some people really believe that the world's gonna be empty that's literally not true they do that the trailers do this all the time they'll hide objects in the environment to make it sound cut clean and all that stuff so that's really good either way if they actually really have that sign runs towards the tower showing gameplay movement parkour and combat which that sounds cool to me if this trailer is going to be gameplay packed and we're seeing a bit of the combat we're seeing how the parkour system works that's going to be awesome uh this is really cool we see the area first showing an endless grass field which you've seen with woodland creatures scattered and an ancient populated city by various shower race species like elementals mysticals naturals that's cool to me if there's like these ancient cities where you just have a bunch of child living there a bunch of ancient people out there like that'll be really cool i'd be shocked if, it, if that was a thing but it wouldn't be the first time you know we've had station square we've had the hub worlds in 06 we've had the uh what's it called we have obviously uh what the fuck is the big one? Oh, we had the uh, Sonic Unleashed, you know, hub world. So Sonic is not above, you know, having, you know, hub worlds with areas and people. So that's cool. Now, what's really interesting is this one. So, so Titan shows up with Sonic Fleas and we cut to Cyber Stage stage. Now, these... So of all the rumors, right? This has been the most prevalent one that is consistent throughout all of these. Now, this is either this entire rumor of the cyberspace stages are either the most wildly spread out BS or the most accurate thing ever because every rumor has the same 
thing. They all say there are these cyberspace levels that are essentially your boost style formula levels. Uh, and that's where you do, like, that's essentially, I guess, maybe your bonus stage, you know, where you get your Chaos Emerald, or in this case, you get a character, right? Because it says to, that we get to see Tails' gameplay when they save him. And then, yeah, at the end, it says, uh, what's it called? Uh, Amy and Knuckles calling you for help in cyberspace. So it seems like what you're going to end up doing is saving the character and maybe you get to unlock them again like they're saying we say gameplay for tails here and i'm wondering like does this mean like we're getting like like does this mean tails just gonna have like a full-on move set does it mean like is he playable whenever like is he just for certain missions i don't know but either way here's the thing right to me this cyber stage thing idea sounds like a good idea to me the idea that like we still because boost formula is awesome so the idea that like you go to these cyberspace stages and maybe that's where you get like the sort of boost style and then the open world plays very differently where it's more combat oriented oriented and stuff that sounds really cool uh what else do we have here bro it cuts more to open zones uh so more open zones in the game there's gonna be a desert area with a mid-eastern inspired city that's really cool uh an icy mountain with a tiny festive town that's also really cool a jungle with a temple really cool and a giant city similar to station square that's really interesting to me right because so far this game has been very you know from what we've seen very ancient you know like we look like we're in some sort of lost valley so i would be surprised if we get some sort of like big normal real life city you know that would be surprising and maybe again there's more to this game than meets the eye um but yeah no it's it's interesting, man. It really is interesting. I don't know. We see Tails gameplay showing off his moveset. So he has his tail swing, rig bombs, and laser gun weapons. So he's not going to be in a mech if he's playable. He's going to be running around. Um, cut to the releasing November 15th. And then surprise you with Amy Knuckles calling you for help. So really interesting shit, man. Really interesting shit. Again, with all these looks, looks. <laughs> <laughs> with all these leaks you take them with definitely a grain of salt but it's fun for speculation just conversation like i said i've i think we are going to get something soon it, it i don't know why it feels like the time maybe it is just you know the mental thing of we've often gotten sonic news in march maybe it's because you know sonic movie is coming up uh in april so we think Either way, like, we think that there's going to be some news to hype up the movie and or get a high off the movie. Because I feel like it works in two ways, right? Like, you either do this two ways. You either let the movie premiere, everybody's on a Sonic high, and then you show game stuff, right? But at the same time, Sonic movie conversation is going to dominate for a month or two. Do they want to, like... I, I don't want to say distract, but I feel like they're going to be full on time about movie stuff when that movie is out for a while. And granted... E3 summer games that stuff is in June so by that point you know the hype will have calmed down and all that stuff but yeah so I really do think it's either going to be in March or it's going to be in June I feel like it's going to be one of those two times and yeah man again this leak isn't too like far-fetched you know it's just it's finally showing gameplay Taylor's being playable is a very big what if the problem is like we, we like we've all been speculating out of our asses you know what I mean like all we have to go off of is the game awards trailer and the cg trailer we had what's called back in back last year so it, this game could have anything this game could have 10 playable characters this game could only have sonic this game could like legitimately be anything and i'm glad you know they're they're working on all that stuff to me though every all i'm gonna say is every time i've seen a leak whether it's fake or real or an interview or something i've gotten confidence in this game you know to me it definitely screams that there's more confidence going in this uh, than usual. But I thought it would, you know, be fun to read. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I missed that's important here. Sonic sees a Chow in danger from a nightmare-looking ancient purple robot. Oh, wait, no. We forgot about talking about the most important thing of this. Hold up. No, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back, chat. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Why am I calling you chat? You're not even chat right now. So, uh, where is this? See Sonic cut chat to a new form that is the glitchy purple aura and purple eyes and destroys the Titan and freeze tail. So, the Titans are essentially... I'm guessing the Titans are going to be... Be like the big boss you fight at the end of the level where was the other one because to me no 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 so this is sonic turns into instinct sonic sonic with a purple orb so first of all that would be the sickest thing of all time i so are you serious if sonic's form was called instinct sonic that shit would fucking be one of the coolest things ever i'll i'll be so down for that but yeah no i wonder i wonder what's gonna happen man i just i am so excited you know like i said i feel like we've been building up now it's almost been three months since game awards which makes sense you know that makes sense to me like like 
people are always like, where's the gameplay and stuff? Hey, man, like, we got something at Game Awards. Whether you like it or not, we still got something. And this is typical for games. I mean, you get info, and then you wait three to four months for the next piece of info, unless the game is, like, directly coming out uh, very soon. You know what I mean? So let's hold our heads high, get a little bit excited, because a lot of this stuff sounds exciting, whether real or fake. Um, but, yeah, what I'm going to guess, right? Here's my prediction for what's going to happen on the 18th or the 24th or whatever. I'm guessing we're going to get a Sonic Central. I feel like end of March, it's time for Sonic Central 2. Uh, and then maybe at this future game show, they, you know, they reiterate on stuff. Uh, they show extended versions of things or they show a stage or something. Or they show nothing there and we just get a Sonic Central or we don't get a Sonic Central and we get something at future game show. Either way, it feels like it's building up. Guys, let me know what you think. Are we in Hopium? What did you think of that leak? Was it a fun fake leak? What do you, what do you think? Talk to me. Again, we read these for fun, I think. Sometimes, listen, sometimes you need a little Hopium in your life. Sometimes you need to be excited for something that isn't going to happen. Just so you can feel something. All right, so feel with me. Have a good time, everybody. Put your in comments below what you think. What do you want to see? And of course, I'll see you all next video. You're the best. Goodbye. Woo!